join this with the join this reviews and we have the keep getting that upside down we got the Rocat Cone Pier Ultra this is their latest release this mouse is about 66 grams and it is praised to be one of their lightest designs competitive including their owl eye sensor 16,000 dpi it includes their rgb lighting of course uh, it does only appear to have lighting on the little back end of here the set uh, kind of on the palm it does have their traditional buttons the uh, box looks pretty decent i would say it's definitely their um, same quality is typical with them. That's a little bit more. Uh, as you can see here, they're definitely going about how it's a complete model, which means it's their competitive editions comparable to their other models. Uh, it's ultra light and about 66 grams and precise with their owl eye sensor. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig right in. Uh, looks like this box has, instead of having a couple cap, they have these little arrow things here just to pull. So we'll just do that. Not too hard there. Pull it tight. Looks like it's almost open, not much to it. Alright, so let's see what's the best way to open this here. Looks like it comes out this way. Yes. Nothing else in the box, as you can see. So I got like a little black card here, must be just for packing. Close that up. Okay, so here's the mouse, as you can see. Kind of is packed in upside down. Um, there is underneath a little pamphlet, which is the quick installation guide. Um, I mean, honestly, you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's most of the time, here's the button, here's how you turn it on. Download the Swarm software. Put that aside. Um, I would say presentation wise, this uh, mouse does leave a little bit desired. I've usually seen a little bit better packaging. It's kind of weird that they chose to put it upside down, but I guess they have their reasons. Um, I have noted that the rubber feet here for the, for the glides actually have a protective film on them for the packaging, so that's definitely a pretty nice thing. Alright, let's go ahead and take the mouse out. As you see, not very much to it. That aside. Here's the mouse. Um, cord is a traditional, um, definitely flexible, but rubber cable. Um, I'm not sure how I kind of feel about it. To be honest, that uh, most mice I get nowadays usually typically have a what do you call it? A uh, different kind of texture. I mean, I don't know. Um, definitely would have liked to have seen this um, like a braided cable or um, just something a little different um, though they have claimed that this is like about 30 35 36 percent more flexible so it should be able to take more bends over time so we'll, we'll have to see. Let's see So getting a little bit deeper into the mouse here, let's take a look at the construction form. As you can kind of see, this is their just similar type, yeah, I would say similar design to their previous models. Um, it has the their same kind of big, I wouldn't say big, but decent sized wheel. Very tactile as you're moving it, which is definitely nice to see. Um, uh, up and down for the DPI changing. It's got the thumb oriented buttons. Um, you can obviously reprogram these, set whatever you want within the Swarm software. Um, form factor seems really well nice. Let's go kind of this over here. Okay. As I'm grabbing it, um, it definitely feels very comfortable in the hand. I will go for and say that when I first was looking at this online, I thought maybe I'm right handed, so I kind of seem like this. As you can see here, doing you see like this little area here, I'm, you know, I thought maybe it would be a little odd that it's not either equal or what you would normally see, but now that, you know, I'm using it in my hands, I can definitely see why they did the shape and orientation they did. Um, definitely very light. Um, I will say I've, compared to most mice, um, it is very light. Um, 
it's almost easy to pick up actually to be honest if the cord's kind of pulling up a little bit <laughs> it doesn't take much to lift it off the ground so you actually have to push down just a little bit to keep it comfortable in or whatever so, um, form factor is very nice uh, a lot of row cats my tends to be a little bulky in my hands this one feels very comfortable i can grip it very well um, this one looks like it's set up to be kind of more of a claw grip design uh, when i compare it to like the Laser Trinity, it's got the little protruding sides here where you can kind of rest your hand on it. This is not, so it's definitely claw grip. Um, everything is fairly easy to get to. Pressing the buttons is not hard on any level. I will say that the coating on here, it's very resistant to fingerprints and smudging, but it's very slippy. Um, I actually have to pretty much really grab the mice to mouse to not actually slide my hand up as you can see it's just moving fast it can, it, it's hard to grip um i would have liked to have seen some kind of texture here on the side maybe to grab on a little better even down here would have been nice to have some texture um but overall i definitely give it a pretty decent rating um for form factor and control it's very comfortable in the hand okay so let's uh go ahead and plug it in and see how it reacts Windows has detected it right away, no issues there, and you can see the light is on, so the mouse is active. Um, currently I'm not going to install the Swarm software just right now, this is just more purely an unboxing. But I will say just from the kind of use that I'm seeing, the API sensor off the top of that is very sensitive. Can pull it down, very smooth, very accurate, very controllable. Definitely, definitely one of the top notch mice from Cone that I've heard from Rogue that I've seen in the Cone series. Uh, again, uh, it's got its traditional 50 million clicks, um, life cycle, 16,000 DPI LI sensor, and you know the 16.8 million color options for the, uh, the Rogue Cat symbol back here. It's hard to really get it to focus on the camera, sorry, but. So there we have it. That is the review of the Rocat Hello Gear Ultra. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.